You know, it's and the Golden State Warriors look to make it back to championship form this season, but before they get back to the court, they made a visit to San Quentin State Prison. KTV's Greg Lee went with the team to that prison and reports on why those there and the players say this visit is so special. San Quentin State Prison, one of the most infamous lockups in the nation. Inside this gate, barbed wire and watchful guards monitor incarcerated people that include the nation's largest death row population, a system that's being dismantled. On this day, none of that matters. We look really good. You know, we, we had to recruit a few ringers in here. Um, every year we got to keep up. All eyes on the basketball court in the recreation yard where the home team, San Quentin Warriors, squared off against the Golden State Warriors. It's a win-win. The Warriors is winning. My money's on the San Quentin Doves. I'm sorry, fellas. The visiting team made up of coaches and support staff from a franchise that's won four of the last eight NBA championships. There's an excitement on our end to be here because it's, you know, it's a different experience for everybody. And I'm excited to see some good bumps, so let's get it. The team on the black top joined on the sidelines by some of Golden State's biggest stars, including all-star guard and major offseason acquisition Chris Paul, Moses Moody, and Clay Thompson. It's honestly really inspiring to see how hard they play and the teamwork they play with. You can tell this didn't happen overnight. This is the ninth time this game has been played at San Quentin. The official record, Golden State 5, San Quentin 3, but it's about much more than a game. A lot of these guys got a lot more wisdom than I didn't have. They didn't have experiences that I've never had. And they just talking about their perseverance and the things that they think about to keep their minds strong or whatnot. And they give us life, you know what I'm saying? It still make us feel like we, we're still human. That message resonating before and throughout the game. Because I've been incarcerated for 25 years, 25 years, right? And um, this is me every day. So if I can persevere through that, the small things you go through is nothing. These guys go through it every day. Not being able to see their families and chase their dreams. So when I put this on, just puts life perspective. Many what are your thoughts, man? This is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. This is dumber than the suit thing they do at Macy's. Clay Thompson is implying that he looks up to these prisoners. Yeah, he's acting like these guys are victims in like a internment camp. That's exactly what they're acting like. These dudes are menaces to society. These dudes should not have the opportunity to do jack shit, much less fucking play a pickup game with the NBA all star. Their dreams. So when I put this on, just puts life in perspective. Many of the men we spoke to say programs like the basketball team and other life groups help them stay hopeful and focused on the future. It's good to see them that they actually come up in here and show us love and support. The fact that we've been able to bring in our community um, and impact this community means a ton. Um, a lot of people I've played against for a lot of years are now out. People like Rasan Thomas, who used to play on this team and was released in February. His 55 years to life sentence commuted by Governor Newsom. When society pours into a prison to forgive you for what you've done and offer unconditional opportunities and love and just bond with you on a basketball court with income and wealth or status it's doesn't over. mean anything. The only thing that matters is can you play? Like normal. When society does that, it's over. <laughs> The guy, he said this community, the fact that we could come to this, what the violent felon community now is the thing. Yeah. At least they killed child molesters. Thumbed up. Yeah. I can't give them yeah, there's a, there, there's a there's a code of ethics. Yeah, but I mean. The child molesters are in protective custody most of the time, so they can't get to them. Yeah, so it means their fans ethics gathered around something. the players, asking them to sign autographs and take pictures. Moody took a seat at the chessboard. It's cool just coming out to hang out, hang out with some guys. They cool, cool dude, cool. just coming to kick it. While Chris Paul tried his <laughs> hand. Murdered, like these are murder. These are people that murderers. <laughs> yeah, they act like they're at the fucking children's hospital. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason there's fucking armed guys standing around on every corner of this court. Exactly. Literally, like hair trigger, because like 
literally because it can happen so fast took a seat at the chessboard. it's cool just coming out to hang out hang out with some guys they cool cool dude we're just coming to kick it while chris paul tried his hand at dominoes drag my loss so i had to come in here and redeem him chris, chris came in here and redeemed him the warriors newcomer also received a tour of the prison's facilities including death row where he heard powerful stories cameras were not allowed but i walked along seeing his emotion firsthand because for him this is personal. I actually have an uncle of mine who was an inmate here uh, for some years, some some years ago when I was a kid. So to come in here and be a chance, to get a chance to talk to these men, man, who, you know, just trying to get another chance and, and rehabilitate themselves, it's once in a lifetime opportunity. After four quarters, San Quentin's team defended home court 85 to 80. While the game is now over. The man-to-man -man conversations, the self-reflection, and the joining of these Warriors families, creating memories that won't soon fade away. Long as my career been, it's the first time I had an opportunity to do something like this, man, and to come and spend time with, you know, these 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 men in here. You know what I mean? It's it's it's, it's a day I'll never forget. Inside San Quentin, Greg Lee, KTVU, Fox Two News. And these are the model prisoners. These is, this is not a reflection of what the prison. These guys probably are like haven't gotten in trouble in years. They like all work like a detail, maybe, you know what I'm saying? And they all like literally probably had to be like fucking like interviewed and you know what I'm saying, have a psychological evaluation. Yeah, they had to be vetted. They might have gotten they might have gotten a, a little bit of a reward for good Snitch. behavior snitched on other inmates type character yeah this is not a reflection of the population of the jail at san quentin these are the good guys as good as it gets wow man Whew. golly man you suppose they didn't tell draymond they was doing that i'm surprised draymond ain't show up he's pretty woke <laughs> i saw him do one at pelican bay before oh okay yeah that makes sense Jeez. Spread the love. Uh, he's definitely thing. at that one. <laughs> man, man. I wonder if they've ever done anything for the victims of any of these people. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Fuck kids no. whose parents has been killed. Like, has Chris Paul ever been like, you know, have a little camp for? <laughs> Yeah, people who are yeah. paralyzed and right. disfigured and PTSD. Yeah. Well, that yeah, then you you might uh, you might wind up with a bad opinion of of these of these guys and not want to hear their their powerful stories. Victims of the Glock switch, Golden State for Glock switch victims or something.